Hi, this is Lisa from Low Cooking Representative. Today I'm going to show you how to make the Lisa ESO car. It's a little bit different with the, the other ESO car. And uh, we're going to finish with a piece of acetate and uh, you can actually fold in it and uh, mail it just like that. Or you can uh, just stand it up like that. It's pretty awesome. That's started. Okay, material list. We are going to use at least a sunny honey combo set. So the combo set is come with a one stamp and the two die cut. So make sure you check or this month's special. I have decided every time when I run a tutorial, we offer a special deal for a viewer. So any stamps that I use for this tutorial, when you see this tutorial, uh, we usually have a great promotion. So just make sure you check it out. So we're going to use the Local Kings Marker Set and the White Stays On um, Brown Memento. We're going to use the uh, uh, score pile if you have it, um, the ruler, foam tape, just basic uh, stamping materials. Okay, so this is a score body. It's a small size uh, um, for like the score pile is the bigger size and the score um, scroll pile is uh, the mini size. And uh, sometimes I just found out it's easy to carry. Basically, I have no idea where is my score pile. I can't find it. So this will work. If you have one, that's good. If you don't have one, there's always the other way to do it. And I'm going to show you how. So we have at least uh, um, half size of the letter size. This car stock is kind of thin. I think it's probably only 65 pounds. So I like good heavy car stock. So I am going to just glue them and then make them a little bit thicker. So what I do is I just fold in the half and I'm going to give a lot of a nice tape and make sure they are going to stick very well. So I put a lot of the tape and I'm going to just fold in the half. Just like that. So now my car star is become 130 pounds. Pretty thick. Especially we are making a 3D car. So we need something to support our car. And then we are going to use this scroll body. We are going to scroll a line. Basically it's a half size, like a halfway. So this is 11, it's a half size of the letter size. We're going to do five and a half. So we're going to draw in a line. If you don't have a um, scroll power or scroll body, what you're going to do is you're going to use a ruler. Before they invent this tool, everybody use a ruler. So you are going to just mark five and a half and the five and a half. Okay. If you have a stylus like this, this is a, what I call stylus. It is a little ball here. Um, on the top of that, if you don't have a ballpoint pen, a dry ballpoint pen will also do the job. So you're going to just uh, draw the line with uh, this uh, stylus. So that's how we do a screwing line. So if you have it, I will recommend it. If you don't have it, just use the original tool. It will work just fine. Okay, and then next, we are going to create at least a window here. So, I already uh, find the size of the window that I want to have. So, it's a 3.25 by 4.25. So, you're going to just uh, put uh, in the middle of your window. And you're going to use a pencil. Pencil is good because we are going to erase is a pencil line. So this is going to be my window. Okay, so just that window like that. And then we are going to use a craft knife and we're going to cut it out. Okay, and now I have my window here. So you just follow your screwing line here and that's what's uh, the window, right? And then we are going to use our um, scroll body and we're going to find the two and the three quarter, uh, quarter drawing a line so, and then folding it. So that's what's going to look like, like this. 
Okay, and then I have two pieces of acetate. The large acetate is 4.25 by 5.5 inches. So that's the one we're going to put in the front. And then for in the back, I have the other piece is a half size of our front one. So it's 2.75 by 4.25. So the small one is I am going to just glue in the back to kind of make So I'm going to just put some tape here, kind of reinforce my car. So that way when I put this car on the table, they are going to sit nicely. You got the stamping on acetate. Remember acetate is a material, so regular impact like memento, uh, Marvy, Tin Host Distracts, so they won't stay. You need a permanent impact. So, stays on is the best choice. This is a stays on white, it's a cotton white. So, um, you got to make sure that your impact is uh, moisture because I found out the stays on after a while, you don't use it, it actually um, become dry. And the, what they do is they come with a re -inker. So, always re ink, make sure your impact is uh, nice and juicy. And then for this card, I am going to just use one of my stamp set. Um, this is throwing. This is from our garden party set. So you can use anything just to give a little bit texture, okay, to make your background a little bit interesting. So when you use the stays on white, the best way of um, how to ink your stamp is give a nice tapping. Okay, make sure everywhere is nicely inked. And I just re ink my stays on white, but I found out it's uh, kind of dry again. So I'm going to put just a piece of uh, um, black cardstock so you can see better. And we're going to just give a little touch around the border. Okay, remember stays on is a permanent impact, so you got to use a special cleaner to clean it. They do have stays on cleaner and they also have a Lisa Ultra Clean. I found that they work very well. This is how I clean my um, ink stem. So I just uh, spray some color on top and I kind of just use a wet cloth, wipe off the dirty stem. See, it's pretty good. It's better to clean your stem right after you use it. It's easier to clean. Or what you can do is you can just uh, spray some stays on cleaner on your wet cloth and kind of wipe off. So they also come off, but I found out this is the easier way. Just uh, spray some and then clean the surface. The stays on ink, uh, if you don't clean it, they will de keep depositing on your stem. So after a while, you are going to lose uh, your detail. So just make sure you clean after you um, you stamped it. And then so that way you always have a clean stem that ready to use for the next time. Also, the stays on cleaner is awesome because if you made a boo on your acetate, you can just use a little bit wet cloth and then just spray some and then you can easily remove the uh, oops image and then you can use this acetate again. So, and also they dry actually pretty fast. So just to give it five minutes, make sure this is completely dry before you glue it and move to the next step. And now we're going to color this stamp with a uh, uh, Local King's uh, uh, marker set. So when you see the package, if there is S sign on top, that means this stamp set is the shadow stamp. The shadow stamp, they work well with markers because the shadow stamp is a reverse image. Instead of the raising up, the outlines go in. So all you have to do is just scribble all your color on top. They will work just fine. So this is a, called Misty. is also known as a stamp positioner. If you have one, it's a good idea to use it because uh, sometimes if your table is not flat, you miss a uh, part of an image, you can always fix it uh, with a stamp positioner. So if you don't have it, just make sure to check out tutorial number 45. We teach you how to use a DVD or a CD case to create your own stamp positioner. They work perfect. So I am going to just fast forwarding um, the calling technique. If you like to know more about the how to color with our markers, just make sure you check our website. We have a hundred plus awesome tutorial ready to view. You're going to enjoy it.
Okay, you can see clearly I forgot to color this part. Something is missing. So it's a good idea that I have my stem on my um, stem positioner. So all I have to do is just uh, give a little bit touch up and see that just fixed that perfect. Now it's perfect. Okay, just like that. A lot of people say, um, always ask me, what a magic marker. You know, a mark, a marker are awesome because they are great quality. First of all, they will last at least three, four years. And then you can use this marker for blending. You can use it as a watercolor. They dry slow on the rubber. They dry pretty fast on the paper. The best part is after 2,000 cards, you may give one or two markers a little dry. All you have to do is pop out this part, put three to five drops of water. They will work like brand new. Don't do it unless it's necessary. Sometimes um, if you forgot to close the lid overnight, they dry it out. Don't panic. Just put a five to ten drip of water. They will work like a brand new. When you're adding the water and when you see the water is dripping out, that means they are perfectly refilled. So just to give it a try. They are awesome marker. But the most important thing is, is not the marker does the magic. It's really the stamp, the image that make all different. You can give a try on the stamp that you have right now. Um, you will see the different. Or stamp is a really different kind of design. It's the design that make this stamp special. So this combo set that comes with the uh, um, the stamp and the also two die cut. And then a lot of people ask me, what are you gonna do with this die cut? Please check out other tutorial. We have a lot of tutorial to show you how to use the this die cut. You can create a shaker car. You can create uh, um, windows. You can do embossing. You can do a lot of things. So just make sure you check our website. They said all the how to, how to, how to information on top. And then our die cut is awesome because they are right next to the stamp image. They don't have like a big white outline around your image. The die cut line is right next to the image. That makes it really different. So I'm going to run through my die cut machine and we'll be right back. Okay, so after you die cut it, or die cut still attach on the your 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 paper. Remember, that's not the fact item. That's a part of a special feature. You can um, use this feature to the shaker car, and you can do a lot of things with this feature. Um, it's only have a little hinge to attach on top, so you can easily break it off. I like to leave that option there, and you make the call. What would you like to do with your stamp? So see how easy I can break it off and it become like that. So when I design my stem, I like to um, I like to use this stem more than one time. So I I, I, I always play in my mind how many different kind of possibility that we can do with just one combo set. So for this stem set, we are going to lose the frame. When you use a frame that looks something, when you lose the frame, and then you can do a lot of different things. So I'm going to just use my little scissors and the trimming of the sunflower and my little beads and then lose the frame. Okay, so look, this is what it looks like. And take a look, we don't have that big white gap um, around the or image. Even though it's just a small little white spot, it's kind of annoying. Can you imagine if you have like a big a quarter inches uh, white gap between your image? I just can't stand of it. So what I'm going to do is those white spots, I'm going to just use a uh, magic mushroom and Oh, Matrix Mushroom is almost on the board and heading to Canada now. I am so exciting. If you already have ordered one, you are going to receive the invoice soon. If you haven't ordered yet or you don't know what is our Magic Mushroom, just go to our website and we, are going, uh, we have over maybe 10 different tutorials. Just check the DVD library and show you what is the Magic Mushroom and how to use it. So I just use my purple Magic Mushroom, give it a little touch out and then look my flower just like that. Okay, so now my aste with the white stays on is pretty dry already. And we are, I just put some foam tape in the back of my sunflower. And I'm going to put a large bee here. And I'm going to use my little bee as a stopper. 
So I have at least the creamy color is the 4 inches by 5.25. So I just mount on top and I use our corner um, die cut, cut the all four corner. So we are going to just apply some double side tape here. So the double side, you only put it on the this part. Okay, don't apply all because you don't you don't need it in the back, only in the front. And then you are going to just put your acetate on top. So you put on top something like that, and then this kind of, the car is kind of not sitting on the table, right? That's now this little bit come handy. This little bit is your stopper. So you are going to put your little bit there, and they will stop that. Okay, see that little bit is kind of become the stopper. So just make sure you fold your paper uh, nice and then you can flatten it. They are the A2 size uh, car. See, nicely in the stop right there. So that's tutor uh, today's tutorial.